Here's an introduction to the RS designations used in chemical nomenclature. This is an MF Mayer Group Productions. What is the RS system? The RS system is used to define the configuration of groups around a stereogenic center. A stereogenic center is defined as a point in a molecule in which if two substituents attached at this point are switched, then the molecule is changed from one non-superposable stereoisomer to another. Take your right hand and take your left hand and place them out before you. Now you'll notice that each hand is a mirror image of the other. The same is true if you lay your right and left hand out before you flat. You'll also notice that your two hands, when overlapped, do not coincide. Neither do they when they are rotated. Your hands are said to be mere images of each other that are non-superposable. Here's another example. Take this elephant and this mouse. When the two are overlapped or superimposed, they are not superposable. However, when we take this mouse and superimpose it with this other mouse, the two coincide perfectly, similar to this elephant. These images are said to be superimposed and superposable. Enantiomers. When two molecules are mirror images of each other, but are not superposable, then like a pair of hands, the two are different. They are then considered to be enantiomers, which are a type of isomer. RS designations. Here's a simple tetrahedral shaped molecule with four halogens. In three dimensional space, the bromine iodine atoms are on the same plane, as shown here. The fluorine would be behind the bromine carbon and iodine, as indicated with a dashed wedge, and the chlorine is in front of the plane of bromine carbon and iodine, indicated here with a solid wedge. This molecule has one stereogenic center, typically shown with an asterisk. If the two atoms attached to the stereogenic carbon are switched, then a new stereoisomer is formed. These two molecules are stereoisomers of one another. They have the same atoms connected with the same bonds, but have different arrangements in space. Also note that these two molecules do not coincide and are non-superposable. And also, like a pair of hands, the two molecules are mirror images of one another. The RS system. To assign R or S, one needs to prioritize the groups attached to each carbon of the stereogenic center. The first prioritization rule. In regard to the atoms directly bonded to the stereogenic center, the higher the atomic number, the higher the priority. Here's an example of the first prioritization rule. Using the priority rules, identify this stereogenic center as either R or S. First, prioritize the substituents. Your priority numbers should look like this. Next, define the perspective. Hold the lowest priority substituent away from you and the three higher priority substituents towards you. If the pathway from the highest to lowest priority is clockwise, then the stereogenic center is designated as an R configuration. If the substituents trace out a counterclockwise shape, then the stereogenic center is designated as an S configuration. The most familiar way to help remember this is to keep a wheel in mind. If the wheel rotates to the left, then S is used, which stands for sinister, which is Latin for left. 
Similarly, if the wheel rotates to the right, then R is used, which stands for rectus, which is Latin for right. The second prioritization rule. If the atoms connected to the carbon of the stereogenic center are the same, then look at the atoms bonded immediately next to the atom bonded to the carbon of the stereogenic center to determine priorities. Here's an example of the use of the second prioritization rule. Using the priority rules, identify this stereogenic center as either R or S. First, attempt to prioritize the situants. However, you may have noticed that all the atoms attached to the stereogenic center are the same type of atoms, in this case carbons. To properly prioritize, look at the atoms bonded directly next to the atoms bonded to the stereogenic center. Now, prioritize the situants. Your priority numbers should look like this, rendering this stereogenic center an R configuration. The third prioritization rule. Multiple bonds are treated as if an equal number of single bonds were bonded to the atom attached to the stereogenic center as shown below. Here, this vinyl group is treated as if extra carbons, shown here in red, are attached even though they really aren't there. Similarly, this formal group is also treated the same way. Here are some additional examples. Here's an example of the use of the third prioritization rule. Using priority rules, identify this stereogenic center as either R or S. First, attempt to prioritize substituents. However, you have noticed that some of the atoms attached to the stereogenic center have pi bonds. To properly prioritize, assume that there is an equal number of multiple bonded atoms bonded to that atom as single bonds, as shown here. Now prioritize. Your priority numbers should look like this, rendering this stereogenic center as an S configuration. This has been a short introduction to the RS designations used in chemical nomenclature. Be sure to check out other great MF Mayer group production videos. Thanks.